Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we're going to be teaching you about a very interesting way to get to space, as well as about a number of other incredible machines. We'll start by reviewing the transport of this ring of steel. We'll list off some facts, and you can see if you can guess what it is. Make sure you comment your guesses below. It weighs over 1,000 tons. With a diameter of 33 meters, it is the world's largest diameter vacuum chamber. It's used in the field of aerospace. Did you guess what it is? Well, it stands as an essential component for a massive accelerator, which will be used to launch payloads from New Mexico into low Earth orbit by spinning them at incredible speeds. CERN's was commissioned by Spin Launch for conducting the transportation of this mighty giant. To place it on transport trailers, CERN's used its multi-lifting tower to raise the load vertically over 16 meters, which is then rotated to 90 degrees. Engineers have to build a steel frame that is laid on two 64-axle SPMTs, like a bridge, to carry and transport it the mere 200 meters it needs to travel. The wind, snow, and freezing temperatures added to the challenge. Next, we'll be looking at a 2 million pound roof being transported to the Georgia Power Plant, near Waynesboro, Georgia. This, however, is no ordinary 2 million pound roof. This is the shield for a nuclear reactor, designed for providing an additional layer of safety around the containment vessel to protect the structure from any potential impacts. As the size of this structure was 135 feet in diameter and 37 feet tall, four SPMTs were used to carry it. It was then hauled and raised by a heavy-duty crane to the top of the shield building. In 1966, Edwin Menzi invented what is largely considered to be the first walking excavator. His lineage in the form of his company, Menzi Muck, has come a long way since then, with the new M545X. Its walking legs can now be linked with a rail driving system, enabling it to work along railway tracks. It can re-rail itself on any open track section and only takes a few minutes to transform. Their low center of gravity and cheap transportation costs are just one part of its appeal. Menzi's rail machine lineup is able to work collectively to improve performance by as much as 30%. Hydrostatic traction is also well suited to railway operations. Next, we have the Dragon Screed Radius. It was developed for grading gravel at depths ranging from 4 to 12 inches, while producing the flattest and most consistent foundation possible. 
Since the Dragon's Creed creates a laser-accurate subgrade, the concrete is poured with a uniform thickness, resulting in a better slab. Its remote control to vibration technology with variable speed settings provides a continuously smooth level surface, making finishing a breeze. The Radius Screed is compatible with the current Dragon Screed system, allowing contractors to complete even the most challenging work. Up next we have the MP550, which is a material placer designed for handling concrete slumps as dry materials. It has a 35-foot swing conveyor that can be pivoted 170 degrees, allowing the operator to transport items over building site impediments. Its 11-foot 4-inch broad hopper features an adjustable flop gate and a front lip that is barely 2 feet from the ground making it suitable for a variety of vehicles. The machine is powered by a new 6-cylinder 302-horsepower diesel engine. Its front and rear steering enable it to have an inside turning radius of 12 feet. There is also the option of crab and automated steering. Slip form is a method of construction in which concrete is poured into a continuously moving form. The 5700C from Power Curbers is pouring concrete in its moving mold to build a 2.1 meter tall canal sidewall. By equipping the machine with trim extensions, you can trim the width required to clear the way for a sidewalk pour. The adjustable offset allows it to pour the sidewalk behind the existing curb or across plane strips. Pouring sidewalks close to the existing curb is possible with optional detachable side plates. Next we have the Spaltfest from Bastin. It is designed for splitting logs with lengths of up to 1 meters quickly and easily. Trunk diameter does not matter for this machine, as its full length horizontal blade cuts the log before reaching the splitter. The knives then further split the wood and turn the output into square bars with a length of 1 meter. It comes standard with a toothbrush. Yes, that's the official term, which is used to remove the residue.
Last but not least, we have the Snowbot, which has been designed to do snowplow operations autonomously. It uses four signaling beacons to navigate, with which you can set countless waypoints. It can automatically plan its cleaning path. With its remote controller, a more exact area can be set according to your preferences. The rubber-tipped auger of this little robot scrapes the snow off the ground and into the housing, then throws it away through the chute. It has the capacity to remove snow as deep as 12 inches, easy from your yard or driveway, and the selected area. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more great machines. Feel free to like and subscribe, it's always a big help to us. And with that, we'll see you next time.